Hello. Hello. And welcome. This is our new side episode. What are we of calling Novo it? Convo podcast where two stupids make it right. That's hype, right? Hype. Yes, right. It's hype. I'm one of your hosts, Veronica Bo. And I'm joined by Harrison No. He's right over, ooh, this way. You can't see my hand because yes. I have the background, but. Yes. And you're he's over to my this left. Way. I'm to his right because I'm right this time around. That's hype. <laughs> if you're new here, we both just want an excuse to talk about anything that ranges from anime to comics. But also, we're trying to clean up our backlog. And this is on Harrison's backlog for a very long time. And we'll get into it shortly. But some would say it's conversing. Novo like, Convo? Conversing? Like NGOVO Convo? Yes, like the logo above Harrison. <laughs> yes. You sure. can watch every episode on YouTube.com or listen to it as a podcast by searching Novo Convo on your podcast service of choice. We're on 10 different platforms. We're everywhere. Anywhere. Everywhere. everywhere. And in this episode, we're finally going to be talking about One Piece. <sighs> finally. <laughs> <sighs> and this will be the blue saga part one um we're reading the manga but we'll grill harrison in a little bit about the anime just just a little bit just so you can get a background because we've been teasing it these past two years so might as Have well we? keep teasing him <laughs> Have I? oh oh teasing me okay All right, yeah so this is a side series we're gonna drop it every friday or not every friday but um like whenever we finish like an arc or a saga we'll record Drop on Friday, 7 a.m. Um, we know One Piece is a big commitment. So if you're listening, good for you. If you're lost, good for you. <laughs> as long lost. as you know all the names, what they look like, it's it's all good. We're good here. We're good. We're good. <laughs> and we're sponsored by Anchor, which we'll get into later. Harrison, Harrison, Harrison. You what promise your wife that you did. would start One Piece post marriage, post wedding. The did. time is here. Yep. We're recording it for evidence. I'm very happy. I <laughs> love seeing like One Piece on my monitor or my phone or my tablet. Just like, everywhere. Just to give some backstory on that, like One Piece is her absolute favorite series. Like she loves it to death and to death. and to we death. joked around it early on i'd be like oh she's like, oh you should read it. i'm like nah but back then it was like around five six hundred chapters i think oh okay yeah i think or that maybe that's episodes i don't know it's i'm mixed up on that one but finally and i was oh i'll probably read it and of course i just drag it along and if i'm like all right if this works out i will actually read it and that's a promise it worked <sighs> out <laughs> It worked out. He has me as a partner to make sure he's on top of it. <laughs> she was very happy for that. She said, oh, good. Yes. Getting pushed to watch it. Finally. I'm like, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Read it. Read it. Or read it. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. I chose But watching it, it, you've watched the first hundred episodes, right? Roughly. Uh, roughly. Or however long Alabasta is. That's all I remember. I probably watched more and I just don't know. Honestly, I don't remember. I think. Because this is on the, the t- when it was on TV. That's the thing. Oh, uh, so. Okay. I think the I think I checked Country Roll the other day and Alabaster ended at like one thirty. So around okay, so around that. So around yeah. that. So, okay, so you've only for seen sure about around that ten percent of One Piece at this time. Yeah. <laughs> and before we do like non spoiler thoughts, get to our break. How we're gonna break down each episode. You know nothing after Alabasta, correct? N- no, I do know bits and pieces. Okay. I know. Okay. Oh, I mean, there's some things you just can't avoid. Like I know That's true. some uh, some big moments. Like moments. Yeah. Ah, your wife's favorite moment, or least favorite moment, I should say. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, I yeah, that's like the one big one. I know a few things, and I think like I had some like family members. Like one of my cousins is like was like a hardcore like One Piece fan, and he would explain certain things to me because yeah. at the time I'm like. You could tell me. I'm probably not going to read it at this point. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. With like... (laughs) But that was like years ago. Like, this is like a decade ago at this point. Yeah. So... Well, One Piece is a commitment. It has now over a thousand chapters and episodes. (laughs) Uh Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And we're about to 
break this bad boy down. <laughs> and how are we doing that, Veronica? S- slowly and sh- but surely. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, uh, One Piece is broken down by sagas. So, basically, big, like, arc points, right? Mm-hmm. Or, like, big sections of, like, where they're needing to go, basically, in, like, islands. Um, so, this first part, we're going to break down Blue Saga. It's going to be in two parts. I think roughly each part is like three arcs three little arcs yeah um it's just a lot of like intro to the crew to luffy all that good stuff we'll get and i'm controlling this series because i'm caught up i know what to say (laughs) what to ask (laughs) but harrison not for our thoughts about one piece before you met your wife before I guess because oh, you watched, like, the anime, right, for a little bit as a kid, I would say. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what, what were your thoughts pre, at, pre-commitment? At <laughs> at, I mean, at the time, I thought it was fun. I thought, I just, the only thing that put me off was the art style at the time. Mm-hmm. Uh, out of the big three that was airing, it was essentially Naruto, Bleach, One Piece. I thought One Piece honestly didn't look that good, and I think... The premise seemed less, I guess, intense or very, it didn't feel as drastic. Like, okay, like you go from Bleach and Naruto, it felt Mm -hmm. like early on, it felt like the stakes were relatively high. Relatively, I say. I felt that Bleach had the highest one, but this is also me thinking back as a kid, right? Of what I remember when I watched. And I think I like Bleach's art style the most. That's why I resonate with it more with that and then i would watch naruto i dropped one piece fast <laughs> yeah i dropped it I... around like how fast because then whenever yeah so okay that was my thought process before then thought now it's actually slightly now... different it's actually okay. different yeah i see i like how it different i actually have more fun reading it now and may and i wonder if it's because i'm reading it versus watching it but if mm-hmm. I remember correctly, early on when it was airing, the anime matched the relatively matched the manga re- pretty well compared to like how it started becoming. And I say started as in like there was more. It had the drag. It had the issue of dragging out. A dragging out episodes. Yeah. That yeah. was just the classic issue. So yeah. So Oda started writing this in 1997. Right. And then in 1999 was when Toei Animation like started animating. Yep. Um, so it's about, yeah, they were relatively, the pacing was like relatively on par to the manga. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think everyone has told you to read it cause it, it's, it's just a lot quicker. Yeah. It's just a lot quicker. It oh, it was quicker. so much quicker. Yeah. And like, I think your wife and I, we've mentioned, we were like, yeah, just read it and then watch your favorite fights or scenes or anything yeah. you want to see, like, like listen to as like a median, you know, and yeah. watch. Because I do, there like, after reading, because this, this episode's more about, what sections was it again? I forgot what arcs. Blue Saga. Well, so, but, but. we're going to be talking about the Romance Dawn, Orange Town, and Syrup Village. Yep. Essentially up to Usa. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And it was fun. It was honestly really fun rereading. Or I say rereading. It's reading, but then it felt like I was rewatching the stuff. But it was just fun because I just... I still remember all the big points because oh, yeah. the issue was when it dropped on TV, it kept rerunning. I saw so reruns you just enough. Knew. <laughs> so I remember a lot of this stuff, except like this was nicer because it was kind of jam packed. And I'm like, oh, oh cool. Yeah. This is like get to the points, except it's also the main source. So it's actually more important, honestly. Get to the good stuff. Yeah. So okay. I have way more fun reading it right now. And we've been teasing this for like two years, I think. Yes. Funny enough, because I caught up to One Piece during COVID, like peak of COVID, like 2020 peak. It took me three months to catch up to 900 episodes. So. <laughs> she can do that. I'm pacing for episode sake. I know. And Harrison here is just pacing for our episodes. Yeah. So. I mean, it's honestly nice. I did she, Veronica did ask me, she's like, why didn't you? And if you hear a train, that's me. That's Harrison. It's not coming at you, or it is. Double check. It is. <laughs> <laughs> um, but Veronica's like, why aren't you itching to continue? I was like, for pacing. 
for episodes. If I didn't have to do this for episodes, you would. I'd be just... reading this faster. But then I said that to my wife and as well. She's like, "No, you wouldn't. It took you this long to start. What do you mean?" <laughs> she knew you'd be lying. I was like, "Shoot." So divorce. Perfect. Well, the grilling session is done. <laughs> for now. Until next time. For now. Just <laughs> for now. We're actually going to take a quick break to talk about our sponsors. On this episode, we are sponsored by Anchor. It is a free podcast hosting service that we actually use. We've been using Anchor since we've started the podcast. It's because there are creation tools that allow us to record and edit the podcast right from our phones and computers. Huge plus for us is that Anchor would distribute our podcast to all platforms such as Spotify, Apple, iTunes, Google Podcasts, and many more. It really is everything that you need to make a podcast all in one spot. Please download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm, A-N-C-H-O-R dot F-M to get started. Oh my god, and we're back. What a quick break. So long. So long. long. What a long break, yeah. Maybe one day we'll redo those ad breaks. Maybe one day, perhaps. (laughs) But let's get into Romance Dawn Arc, which is the first seven chapters, chapters one to seven. One to what? One to seven. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Yeah. What'd you think about Luffy? He's as stupid as I remember. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, he is Monkey D. Luffy. <laughs> Air for brains, as I remember. Yep, one one thousand <laughs> percent. It started off different because in the Did- anime, it starts off with him being on the ship first. It doesn't explain his past yeah. first. Yeah. I mean, they, it's not like they skipped over it. They bring it They bring it up later. But I remember this because I read it and I'm like, Are he, isn't he supposed to be on the ship with um, Colby? And then it happens. I was yeah, like, oh, happens, they flipped yeah. it. But I like the way the manga does it better. It gives you like a premise of like how Luffy is yes in a sense it, like you you get like the gist it's of like better framing him. it's better framing i yeah. yes so i do enjoy that a lot more He's even though it's a little boy. it's a little thing it's like one it was just one chapter i think but still it's still good yeah. he's a very brave little boy i must say brave but stupid <laughs> yeah do you like kobe did you like kobe do you like kobe i our little I mean, cabin boy i think he's i think it's funny but I I don't really, I mean, I just, a, this is also me watching the rerun so much that I'm like, oh yeah, this is Colby. He's the pink hair kid. Yeah. He's going to become a Marine probably someday. So here we are. Cool. When you get further into it, there's a big Kobe meme. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's a big Kobe meme. I'm going to have to show you. I guess something you. I didn't see. So that's something yeah. I avoided. <laughs> and our... So this technically does the background of Luffy. Shanks is basically mm-hmm. Luffy's like mentor, gives him his famous straw hat. Yep. Hat. Um, and then we get into Zoro, who is Luffy's first like crew member. And he reminds me of you due to the fact that you both suck at directions. <laughs> 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 and uh, I... <laughs> I laugh every time. <laughs> I cannot confirm or deny this fact or false accusation. It's a fact. The fact that you said that. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. But yeah, your thoughts on uh, Zoro. Basically, he's uh, like the first main character. I, oh, growing up, he was my favorite character. Honestly, like, I just liked at the time, I had this thing. Do where you I was, like it because oh. he was a swordsman? Yes, hundred okay. percent. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's honestly like I was simple-minded. That at the time I was like, "That's all." I was like, "Oh, if you have a sword and you do that sh- stuff, it's your yeah. badass." That's it. So, I so I mean, watching again, it was just inter- one. I've seen. Okay, this is where I will say I've seen how he looks post time skip. Just he looks from delicious, like skills. I must say. <laughs> But it is weird because I'm like, oh, when I see him in the manga, I'm like, oh, yeah, I rec- this is how he is. 
but it was kind of jarring watching it the first time i was like oh this is are, what he looks you are yeah. tiny <laughs> yeah oh yeah obviously animation gets better throughout the, mm-hmm. the series yeah um Okay, so one of my questions is that we you saw a glimpse of Goldie Roger, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The fir- like the king of the pirates. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to be careful with my wording here, but what are your thoughts about Luffy wanting to be the king of the pirates? Uh, I just think. Do you think it's, it's like a simple? Yes. Thing that he wants. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, yeah. I didn't think. I just well. And I still guess I assume the same. Uh, right now, I just think it's just... I just thought it was just a simple Shonen goal. Goal, Shonen yeah. Protect goal. And that, like, I'm going to be the best at this. So King of the Pirates is the best at that. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. That no, is I mean, that's that's it. That's all I... That is I true. still feel that way right now as I'm reading. Like, I'm sure it's going to get... I'm sure as, it's like, a normal... How long it's gone, it's going to get super deep. And it's going to get, like, all... Tw- like... It's like way bigger, way scope bigger than yeah. Than we than where it is right now. Oh yeah. Again, train on my side. Jeez. And so the last hot. question in this room is Don Arc is that that puny boat that Zoro and Luffy have. Yeah. Would, would, do you think it would survive the Grand Line? <laughs> no. Oh god. <laughs> I saw their. That. I know. I saw their panel. And I was like, oh lord, they are not going to survive this. <laughs> so, it, no. Okay, perfect, awesome. First seven chapters, pretty easy. I think it was like a good introduction to everyone. Goals, people got places to be, things to do. And now we're on to Orange Town Arc, which is chapter eight through 21. And I think we get to meet our favorite booby girl. And I said booby girl because it's Nami. (laughs) It is Nami. It is Nami. Uh, my first question is not about Nami, but about Buggy. <laughs> How would you feel about good old Buggy the Clown? I honestly, I, I saw the, um, I think I saw like the title page or like the intro page from one of the chapters that showed Buggy. I was like, oh yeah, this guy. Yeah. What does he do again? <laughs> oh yeah, his. Chop, I can chop. remember. Yeah, no, I can remember the chop chop fruit, and I was like, "Ah, oh, what is that again?" Because I mixed up. Oh no, not really. I just couldn't remember. And then once I saw it in action, I was like, "Oh yeah, he just like he, he, he like just this not dislocates, but um, he chops himself up. Chops himself pieces, up. Yeah, just yeah. chop chop. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I found I found Buggy extremely funny. Mm-hmm. Um, and then. When you read his lines, I don't know if you you're gonna notice this, but like he knows Shanks. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And then like, cause like Luffy was like, "Hey, that hat's like special, yada yada yada." Um, like it's a treasure of mine. And then Buggy's like, "I know that, I know that hat." <laughs> yeah. No, because and that's where I. This is like the little things that I forget that I forgot. Buggy knew shanks and how and they because they go into like a really quick recap or flashback of how they know each other i was like oh yeah see it's things like this that i forget oh yeah so this is this is the fun part that i'm like oh yeah this is how they this is how they know each other oh yeah that's small world okay cool yeah yeah. how do you feel about nami uh i i also felt the same way i did back then where i'm like this girl sketch i mean she is very sketch or very sketch very sus very sus, yeah. very beef-like. <laughs> yes, everyone fits into a mold right now, and I've or in, into into a the, mold, like, and they purposely say this because they want her to be the navigator. But yeah. they're like, oh, but she's like a thief. She doesn't. No one likes pirates so far in Luffy's crew, but they end up joining and becoming a pirate. So that's the trend, right? That is the trend. So. Yeah. It's a trend right now, so far. Right now, I, yes. I think I find it so funny because Luffy, I think he has this, like, I don't know. He has this charm to him that mm-hmm. people just can't seem to say no. <laughs> yeah. No, it's true. Yeah. And at first, back then, I just felt, I think I just felt that it was super lucky. And I didn't think it was that important. But now, watching, I was like, oh, I can see why. Yeah. Overall. Um. 
But yeah, Nami, I was like, okay, she's sus, but it's fine. Uh, Buggy. But how the sus? The whole fight. <laughs> not super sus, but I'm like, oh, there's something up. Yeah. I could. I remember there's... That's the thing. I remember something, but I don't remember how accurate it is. How accurate? Yeah. Yes. I mean, it's been so long. It's been so long. Yeah. Um, But I just think it's funny how, like, they finally... It's just cool that, like, Buggy was the first person that also ate the devil's fruit. So it's just... Oh, yeah. Yeah. The good old chop-chop devil yep. fruit. How'd you feel about a chop-chop devil fruit versus a rubber man? The, the gum it's gum. It's always <laughs> interesting to see how it's handled. How the fights are handled. And right now, I just kind of take it with a grain of salt. Like, All right, cool. That, that happens. Like, how they fight, how they deal with certain things, or how Luffy just... It's evolving over time. Oh, yeah. But... It's always fun to see how he starts, how the character starts out with, and how they use their powers. And I'm like, oh, I know this is going to get way more crazy down the line. It's so funny. The first time I like watched this, I was like, oh, man, he's just like a rubber boy. Like, he's yeah. just going to stretch. Yes. And that's it. And it's just like it evolves. And it just I'm reading it, rereading it right now. I'm like, oh, man, if only Harrison knew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What hole we're about to go down. But yeah, the whole fight's cool. I think essentially they just got got um, confirmed they can just have... I think they have Nami join them and then Zoro. So now they have like yeah, a pirate so hunter they, and a pirate robber, ironically. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you like all the fights? There's a lot of one-on-one fights in this arc. There's a lot of one-on-ones, yeah. It's yeah. actually, it was like, what, Zoro versus... Oh, oh! The part that hit me in the feels was oh, the yes. dog. Oh, yes! See, I forgot... No, um, I don't. You, you should probably watch this. I don't know if you watch it. There's like there's this one piece of bridge. I don't think it got that far, but they memed this dog to hell, and it was oh, really funny. But I feel this, like I've seen it. Yeah, but then I watched this, and I'm like, oh, or I read this, and I'm like, oh, the feels. <laughs> oh, this dog's the, the, the dog. And it was just that's the part where I was like, oh, this is little things like that. I'm like, oh, and then the village, of course. So it was more. My focus was more on. I forgot like who it was. Who took part in certain events and what happened with certain towns and all that? So oh yeah, that so for me that was cool. I I remember the fights more than obviously the little details the, that happened. All the, the details, way. Yeah. yeah. I just find it interesting because Luffy wants to be a pirate, right? Mm-hmm. And he, you know, pirates in this world is also bad because when you think of pirates, you kind of think of Pirates Caribbean. Oh, yeah. Like pirates yeah. are like robbers. They're bad. They're kind of I mean, out there to get people. Buggy only cared about money, but then yeah. he he puts his crew. Or right now, it feels like Luffy. Yeah, I don't think he outright says it, but I can tell like Luffy cares about his crew, and that's what is important to him, right? Yeah, and I think Luffy fighting for the dog and like the town. You can tell that Luffy's just going to be a different type. Yeah, of like his character is crew. different. He's not. Yeah. he doesn't fit the mold. Yeah, he is. This man doesn't even care. This not man. This boy currently does not even care about money. Uh, he can't even navigate with nope. Zoro. So. <laughs> Oh god, that duo navigation. The, that hell no. <laughs> Ooh, that duo. Okay, we're gonna get to the final arc. This was a pretty big one for the first part, in my the opinion. First part. This is the longer yeah, yeah. one of this the ones you had me read. <laughs> yes, and it's called Veronica Syrup. is curating this. Syrup Village. It's chapter twenty-two to forty-two. Um, essentially, you meet Usopp, uh, uh, the sniper. The liar. The liar. <laughs> the liar. Sniper. <laughs> They're alluding to it, and I know it. Yes, but. yes. Okay, so my first in- thought about this arc was that you obviously get to follow Usopp, right? He's kind of the town liar. Um, boy who cried wolf. In a wolf. sense that, yes. Yeah. The boy who cried wolf, and no one believes him when he actually cried wolf. <laughs> But basically, um, the funny part is that he calls himself a captain mm-hmm. of, a, of a crew. Yep. And I find that funny because when he meets Luffy, he's like, oh, yeah, I'm the captain of blah, blah, blah. And Luffy's like, huh? Yeah. Even Luffy's like, what? <laughs> Luffy's like, no, I'm the captain. <laughs> I am the captain. Like, to me. <laughs> I am the captain. I am the captain. But how did you feel about Usopp and Kaya? Because that was uh, a big part of this arc. Yeah, I think overall it just shows 
that Usopp, they call him the liar, but for some, because Kai is super sick, right? So it's like, yeah, she doesn't get to go out as much. She's kind of stuck, hold up. But Usopp is that escape, even though she knew that he wasn't. He was lying. Truthful. He was lying. Yeah. <clears throat> for her, it was fun, right? Because it was yeah. an adventure outside of what she knows or what can she can see and go out and do, right? I did. So I thought the relationship was really, like, cute and... It was cute. Yeah, I thought it was nice. It was nice. It, it was cute. It sucked when she... Oh, of course, it was expected, but it sucked when it was like, oh, she didn't believe him when he was trying to actually say, like, oh, the town's getting attacked and all that. And are you noticing that people are connected in one way or another? Because mm-hmm. Luffy met Usopp's dad because Usopp's dad is a crew member on Shanks ship. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so that's why I was like, oh, this is the little stuff that I don't remember and yeah. that's really cool. Uh so that's why I was like, oh, okay, everything's tied together. There's all these connections and it's like of course early on right now I'm like, oh, that's coincidental. That's <laughs> That's <laughs> super coincidental. Nothing is coincidental in here. That's what I've heard. So Yeah, nothing. Um, do you find it ironic that even though he's a liar and somewhat of a coward, I think in what you've oh, seen is, so though. far, no, yeah, oh, he is. yeah, not somewhat. He is coward. <laughs> he's crying. And he all the actually time. wants to be, be the bravest man on the sea. That is his goal. That's his goal. Yeah, his he goal hasn't outright be... said it, but yeah. I, I can tell that that's his shtick. Yeah. Besides being like a sharpshooter. Like or because really, or, right now all he's using is the um his like um little I forgot what it's called. Oh, I forget what it's called. Yeah, me too. But um, the little it's basically a cheap yeah this, yeah yeah. The Everyone's wide, like, what's going on? Like holding yeah, the, the wine yeah, the, like, yeah the yeah. <laughs> that's, <sighs> a cl- that's a clip. <laughs> 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 but yeah, but, I think so. Okay. So, and they uh, fight another crew member or crew ship. It's like, what is it called? Like the Black Cat Pirates? The or Black something? Cats. Yeah. Yeah. I thought they were so funny, especially the twins fighting Zoro. That was hilarious. Just it's like the fat it cat and then like the little cat or like yeah, the skinny like cat. The, the skinny cat. Um, okay. So, so far, we're like 42 chapters into One Piece. <laughs> Out of like a thousand sixty four right now, which is party pain in your ears and heart. Um, a little bit. <laughs> a little, yeah. Do you find it interesting? Because earlier we talked about how charming Luffy is, right? And that he he never gets a no, but he also never gets a yes right away. No, yeah, he never gets a like. So, for instance, after a whole ordeal with Kuro, which. Honestly, okay, he was actually cool, like the butler guy. He was honestly butler, a pretty cool yeah. villain in this arc. And this is the one I kept seeing a lot. I forgot that how much I saw this arc rerun. Like, because he has the like, he has like the claw stuff. And he was actually in medicine. In the manga, I was like, oh, this guy's scary. Scary, yeah. With uh, yeah. the Django. Django's weird, but <laughs> the hypnotist. Super weird. Yeah, the super hypnotist. weird. Yeah. But I get, but he was cool in that, like, he's super schemy and not like the typical, like, I'm gonna, he's trying to get Regis in a different way versus yeah. like the typical pirate. But, um, with that whole ordeal, it was kind of cool to see. It's all, yeah, it's true. They always say no because they say pirates. No. Yeah. Yeah. Usopp was different in that he said no, but because he wanted to, or I guess, start his own thing. Kind of. Yeah, he not exactly. Be... He never. He wasn't the hard no like Nami and Zoro, because Nami was like, no, fuck pirates, and then Zoro was like, yeah, no, screw pirates. <laughs> well, Zoro ironically was a pirate hunter. So yes, he no, he was a pirate. Them. That's why he was like, yeah. screw pirates. Yeah. But no, it's it's interesting how Luffy has pulled people in together, but also right now it feels very coincidental. Still. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. Yeah. I say right now, I keep saying right now, not that I know anything, but because we're so early on and I know shit happens and I'm sure it all something, hits the fan eventually. I am, I am just, I'm just future proofing myself. Okay. Besides Zoro, is there any other 
characters that you want to re-see or revisit maybe down the line? Because we've seen uh, we've seen Kobe, we've seen yeah. we've seen a lot of characters, but the main one is Kobe, Lady Alvida, the fat lady, yeah. um, Captain Buggy and his crew. Captain I will Crow say so the, black the whole cats. this is the difference with the manga where the 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 title panel or whatever you know like the cover yeah it's interesting right now because it tells a side story or it tells yes, like it things does. that happen so like that's what I when you say that. Buggy, for instance, has a side thing going on he when sure I'm reading does. it, and I, I only I noticed it like for a split second, but I never like I didn't pay attention initially till I noticed like part four. I was like, "Fuck!" I've been pay- I've seen the cover, but I never paid attention to what's happening, yeah. and it's telling its own side story. How like Buggy is trying to get back right now, or he or his adventures, I guess that's what it was. Yeah, because he's uh, he he's like, uh, got, he got chopped up, up, and so he's trying to find his body parts again, basically, because yeah. <laughs> yeah. they're all tied up thanks to Nami. Yes. <laughs> Yes. So actually, that was a good pivot point because I was gonna say those chapter covers are important for later on. Should okay, and that's that's my first question starting the series. I was gonna pay attention anyway, but I didn't know how long because sometimes it's one of those oh you know the mangaka does it early on as for like a fun thing, but eventually does that change because I know some mangas eventually just make like quick, um like two point five you know like two point yeah. five like point five stuff. 0.5 series or like a back end series is that like a continuous thing oh it's a continuous thing okay a- and i don't know if you've read the side by sides basically like the q a section but those are quite important as well some of them are that. yeah some yeah are. there's some yeah. that you can is okay i read some but not fully because i just you know q a i was all right let mm. me just speed through this but there were some that i did read out of curiosity and it's like for instance like nami's like uh measurements of course you would read that one. <laughs> <laughs> the one side by side that you would read would be Nanami's <laughs> chest measures. No, it's just funny because I was like, wow, people would add. And I was like, man, this must have been super far back that people send in stuff. Yeah. So, was, so that's why I was like, oh, this is fun. It was fun to read in the sense of that. Like people would just ask certain questions or I think I saw one. This is a later one past this one. This arc. Um, this arc or this half like of saga. Yeah. yeah this this half of the saga where someone's like oh they misspelled one piece because they thought it was o or n e i like they just didn't know that the o yeah. and the p were in the title so i was like oh that's so weird to think yeah. about how back then someone doesn't know but yeah. i know it's crazy but yeah those crazy. um chapter covers are very important okay. he like oda is crazy in his foreshadowing and like putting in like easter eggs for later on Mm -hmm. Uh, because the more we get deeper into like one piece um it's it's crazy how far back he was planning for this current arc (laughs) yeah it, it gets it gets crazy oh like current, like one thousand like something. Current, like current, like one thousand six. As of recording, it's okay. <laughs> oh shit! Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't don't doubt one piece. Is he pulling in Attack on Titan, but better than Attack on Titan? I think he is. Yeah, he's doing it better. Okay. There, yeah, there. Are, okay, just so you know, the fa- the arc that is just wrapping up in the manga it's called wano i don't know if you part you probably heard it's called wano oh yeah Yeah, i've heard uh, heard the arc names yeah yes um wano at the end there is this panel of luffy that he did in the first chapter and we will talk about it in like chapter nine something when we when you get there we'll talk about it Okay. When you get there, God. we will talk about it. <laughs> but yeah, I think okay. it's just a fascinating, fascinating thing. Shoot. But, Harrison, our grilling session number one is finished. <laughs> <laughs> the grill sesh. Grill sesh done. Do you have any closing thoughts about One Piece? Are you happy that you're starting it? I, I will say I am happy that I'm starting it. It's refreshing to read it now compared to when i was a younger lad as some would say oh my god 
I hate you. <laughs> a younger lad. A lad that had to get married to start One Piece. Yeah, a compromise you. happens, you know? So yeah. that's, that's a marriage. Yeah. yeah. But no, no, I'm actually having fun so far. So okay. we will talk about we'll part continue two. Continue this ride later on in that episode. Because thanks for tuning in. You can follow us on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, and Patreon at Novo Convo and GOVO Convo. If you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like button and the notification bell to get updates for when we upload and subscribe. <gasps> it's a big red button below me, literally. I love her. Below me. Let us know how we're doing. What do you want to see next? If you like these side series, we're going to continue this One Piece side series, whether you like it or not. Because this is... To oh, accommodate it to Harrison. Me. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. Never mind. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I heard that, but it's to accommodate you, Harrison. Keep uh, you on your toes. Uh, accommodate okay. my wife more, if anything. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>